Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we have a project that was a gift by way of Zippo Daily Fix, Dylan DePai, and ZF77 Outdoors. I think it's a pretty cool little advertising lighter, but to get started, the flint tube was obstructed, which Dylan had mentioned in the little note he included when he mailed the lighter. So I decided to dip it off into some 30% concentrated vinegar, which took us off onto a whole other path. You can see that wadding was pretty stale looking. A little bit contaminated. Maybe some uh, rust or corrosion of some other kind. Flint degradation. So we're going to get rid of that. Our main purpose here is to get it off in the vinegar to clear the flint tube. I had tried to drill the flint tube out and it still wouldn't spin, the file wheel wouldn't spin. So something had definitely corroded or gummed up the works. Not sure exactly what the case was, but we are going to put it off into the vinegar here reaching down and getting that wick and all that um, old material we're just going to bag and set to the side it's a pretty cool lighter one that was made by Brown and Bigelow it's called the Windmaster but it also has the name Remembrance on it, which Brown and Bigelow had on a lot of their lighters because they were Remembrance type presentation award type items for the most part. You want to be very careful if you use this vinegar because it's very strong. If you got it in your eye, I got no doubt it would burn. And you can see there that that file wheel didn't want to turn. So we're going to put it down in here and let it get a good soak in it. And there's definitely going to be some heavy editing going on in this video. This is the insert that was in the lighter when I got it in the mail and I really would like to keep it original because I don't know that there's anything special about it not a salesman sample or anything like that but it is an advertising lighter for Brown and Bigelow Remembrance. Now you can see here where things began to go awry. The file wheel is now spinning freely, but the lid came off of the insert. At first blush, I thought that perhaps the vinegar had eaten through that spring, but upon further inspection, it is obvious that that spring had broken previously and the rust was holding that rust or whatever corrosion was holding that all together As you can see it fits together like a puzzle piece there nothing has been eroded or eaten away by the vinegar like I've seen it do some other kind of pot metals or cheap metals so it did give us at least an opportunity or at least me an opportunity to understand this mechanism that holds the lid on a little bit better so that was kind of cool and I was glad to see it glad to learn from the experience 
So we're going to start this video with one insert and end it with another. I had to look for a few minutes because while I have several Windmaster inserts that I could switch out, most of them had the pin that you could see on both sides of the outside back of the lid where I wanted to use the same type lid that was on the one when I originally received the lighter. So this is the one I went with even though the windscreen was a little bit damaged had some plating loss and corrosion and we may regret that here in just a moment. <laughs> but I didn't have, like I said, with it being a little bit different kind of lighter that I hadn't seen before and one that when Dylan said put it in an auction or do it, use it for whatever you want to use for the channel, I thought, well, this would be pretty cool. Let's keep it as original as possible. If somebody wants to have that repainted, I'm sure that those guys, J.G. Moore and Vlad Artsmith that do the paintwork on the Zippos could do the same thing on a Windmaster. So, as I said, after some heavy editing and maybe even a few days in the vinegar, you could see that that vinegar removed quite a bit of the plating which the only reason I really put it in there was to remove the rust. So at least I learned something else that, that will kind of have an effect of polishing damaged plating, which can be to erase it all together, but definitely will wear it off there faster than it normally would have come off. So now we see the lighter back together and you can see how that emblem is missing some of the paint has been worn off lighter is in very good condition doesn't show a whole lot of dents maybe a few dings definitely some scratches scuffs the finger pointing up at remembrance advertising says insight in mind so that's why I say this is an advertising lighter for itself, sort of like the little persuader that Zippo used. Like I said, I'm not saying this was a salesman sample or anything like that, but it was obviously an advertising lighter for itself. Marked Remembrance Brown and Bigelow, and Brown and Bigelow had a history of working with other companies. I was reading about a lawsuit the other day where they were sued by Ronson, or it was actually the company that they had partnered with that was making, I believe, the mechanisms, and Brown and Bigelow was making the cases. Brown and Bigelow has a long history in the vintage lighter hobby the vintage lighter market this is a pretty cool I guess that would be two color advertising black and red I would like to see it made whole again have that logo nice with some fresh paint not see that bare brass through to the back but the lighter works very well now and I want to thank you fellas again ZF77 Outdoors Zippo Daily Fix and Dylan DePie I didn't scrub on that or really try to clean it other than dipping it into the vinegar maybe I should have some of those carbon stains around the edge of that lid I'm sure they would polish out but where the concentrated vinegar took plating off of the insert, it didn't take that carbon off of the lid. Vinegar also had kind of a strange effect on the 
metal beneath the plating on the windscreen sort of gives it a kind of heat treated looking effect and it doesn't look great but at least it looks better than rust cleaned up pretty well for a minimal amount of work and as you have seen it works just fine So you can keep your eyes open to find this one in one of the Penny Start 100% for HDSA, the Huntington's Disease Charity auctions that we run three of each month. Until next time.